Dan Matheny presents Q-Tile, my current configuration. Greetings, Earthlings. This is Crazy Dan here. Anyway, I already have my Q-Tile config pulled up, but just a couple quick notes. If you want to install Q-Tile, I will show you the Q-Tile wiki from Arch, which is helpful in most case scenarios, and I'm going to show you Linux Dabbler on the links down below that shows you how to install Qtile on Debian from source. I can also show you DT's video on how he configures Qtile just to get started. But this video is about my rights of Qtile, but also, you know, a little bit of helpful hints such as, you know, I'll just pull up a terminal over here since my configs in the other terminal. And I'll zoom this one in right quick. So basically, you know, if you want to change the own the ownership, what you do is type in and your name and the path on where you want to change the ownership and the reason why I bring this up is because I had hang-ups before because I didn't change the ownership of the file so when I would do edits and stuff like that it would not show up so that's just one example so I'm going to close this and then go to where my configuration is and I'll start from the top Okay, so basically, you know, I imported some things. I had gotten this from different configuration files. Basically, I can switch between windows. You know, that's default. A lot of this is still default stuff, and I only use one layout. I could use more layouts, but I'm happy with Monad Tall. Uh, and I'm about to have a procedure done here in a couple days on two hernias around my stomach, which has been process but anyway all these colors here are colors that define you know my panel here on top and you know, especially with the right corner and uh, I'll go down to that so the uh, widget defaults right here basically the, the font size and everything the padding is this right here anyway the group box that's right here is you know this is all around this area with the different colors padding and everything in the current layout which is this is a funky color and uh, the widget prompt I tried to make a video you know a second a second ago and I hit the super key and the R key and that actually turned off the simple screen recorder and this is my sys tray right here which is this so the window name is this color right here and that's the foreground which is very similar to that there's a very slight difference but you can't tell in the widget text box volume is labeled I did this I originally tried to use DT's config of the text box but here I had to do it a little different so but you know I have the text box and then I have the colors for the volume which is right there you know the text in the foreground and you can barely see the 100% but that's also a part of the colors and the hard drive I'm using you know, the HDD graph which is right here but I got the uh, text box colors but you can use like you know I, I figured out what I could do I could just take these same colors right here and make another widget box and then put in a Unicode font to do the uh, arrows or do whatever I want with the uh, bar here on the right but I like it as it is but I might mess with it some at some point um, but yeah that's all the text, the volume, the HDD, that's all this right here. And I did some of the colors up here and then I decided to customize or classify some of my own different colors. I just decided to put in a bunch of colors just for the heck of it. But there's no rules to this, you know, but I did take a lot from DT's config, but then I had to critique it to my own. And that's also another thing. Um, when you're doing critiquing with someone else's config, it's not always going to work right. And of course I have my startup right here my auto start dot sh so that is my quick video on how I've riced a Qtile of course you know if you notice I've changed some things especially in the uh, terminal I changed some things with my prompt and actually messed around with the lol cat but anyway that's just a quick video there's been a lot going on I'm sorry that I have not been able to make more videos there's a lot going on and Sometime in the future, I'll be able to make more videos, but I've been messing around with different things. Definitely some Wayland stuff, but Wayland's definitely not ready for uh, prime time, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, that's going to conclude today's video. Short, sweet, and to the point. I'll leave those links down below, and I'll also leave my GitLab link for Qtile down below. But anyway, if you're new, uh, click subscribe. 
if you want just my own view on things on Linux. Linux is a beautiful thing. Of course, you know, I got other videos from other stuff I've done before. That's going to conclude everything. Talk to you guys soon. See ya. This has been a Dan Matheny production.